Hi, welcome to the channel. It's Ford and back, and I'm out on the Lipakim pattern. I'll go and have a roll and we'll chat about it as we go. Thanks for coming along to the video today. So I've just taken 10 minutes to have a play on this Lipakim pattern. And it feels really, really good. <laughs> Do I say that about every wheel? <sighs> it feels super good. The suspension just has a lot more. The suspension feels a lot more professional. I can't really sum it up what it is with the Sherman S and the pattern. But once you feel them against another suspension, you just get it straight away. You just have to press your foot onto the wheel and let it take your weight and you can feel the way that it's designed. So the pattern, it's the first 126 volt wheel for um, Veteran or oh, Leperkim. So I think it's similar to your S22 in that voltage department. 3000 watt motor with a peak of 5800. It's coming with the 2220 watt Samsung 50E. So the thing with this is the suspension. It's just such a beautifully professional system. It's got the fast A suspension just like the Sherman S. If you go back here, a couple of videos I rolled on that and it's just such a gorgeous feel. It's very, very similar. I think this is a 62 pound spring, so it's really plush. I could probably do with a 66. Um, but you do have a few options there. This is only 80 millimeter travel, as opposed to the extreme I was just rolling on, and the King Kong S22. They're both at 130 millimeter, so you can bottom this one out a little easier. But that that cushy suspension, I don't know. It's kind of nearly does that outweigh that. So with this one, you get a five amp charger in the box, and it charges I think five to six hours. You know, it's got a really good power. It's okay speed. It's a compact size. I think the thing with this wheel, it's more designed for a torque output than speed. So it's really designed at your trail, at your trail, but also being able to, you know, be a fun commuter wheel as well. You know, your skate parks, your tricks, being able to keep up in those group rides as well with a decent range. You're going to get a top speed of about the 70 kilometer per hour on this wheel. It's not really made for your speed, but more to do with, I think a bit of an all rounder and a bit of a trail wheel. So it's a 16 inch knobby tire. It's a 12 inch rim. Your range, you're getting about 70 to 80 kilometers. Some people did mention about 100 kilometers if you're nursing things. Let's uh, tear it through here. It's a bit of uneven ground that I've come over before. Try to watch the snakes. But this is where the suspension just really works. I don't know if you can see it in the video, but I can feel it. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. And this eats it up. There's no way you would get through there on a wheel without suspension. Not a chance. So I've been seeing a lot of good re reviews about this wheel. It feels smaller than the Sherman S and it's a little bit cheaper than the Sherman S and people do call it their little brother. But I do think it feels kind of similar. You've got a similar pedal set up. I think it's the same pedal. So they're a good grippy pedal, good size as well. It's really easy to flick around. So it feels like a really good size. This tire profile is a lot nicer than the Extreme. I can flick it a lot easier. It's got, um, I don't know, much more rounded profile. Oh no. I've lost both the black little bumpers. E-Riders have got this nice black bumper, which sits just on top, but it seems I've lost one. So looks like we're playing a bit of a game of find the black bumper. Help me find that while we roll back through the adventures. So let's retrace our steps and try to find that little bumper for E-Riders because I don't want to lose their stuff. Maybe it was just up here where we did a little jump. So keep your ears, ears peeled. Keep your eyes peeled for a little black bumper. Hey, so I'm back in my studio. I couldn't get all of the commentary done on the day that I was rolling on this wheel. So I've just 
popped into the studio to do a bit of a commentary, try to remember my thoughts. I hope you can understand what I'm saying. I've picked up a bit of a cold since rolling on the pattern. So I needed to say thanks to E-Riders again for giving me the time to get in and have a look at these wheels, not just for myself to get a better understanding of how all the EUCs fit and roll together, but hopefully to get some of that footage out to you. And even if you don't get the technical stuff, you can see how they're performing, try to get some camera work on some different angles so you can at least just see what the wheels are doing. I really love the Leaperkim stuff. I've been lucky lately to roll on the Sherman S and a few other wheels and then stack them up against each other just in my thoughts and for quality wise I think Leaper Kim are really sort of stepping their game up to a new level to me they really seem like the wheels that are designed for riders you know they haven't really worried about all the extra bells and whistles of speakers and you know fancy lights they've just really stripped it down to a nice slim riders wheel there's nothing really sticking off it or janking off it or going to break no cheap parts sort of as an afterthought it really seems like everything was designed for a rider from a rider's perspective looking at a leaper kim wheel the shock on board the fast a suspension is just another level the pattern compared to the sherman it might bottom out a little bit more. You do have a little bit less in the travel of your suspension. You've got 80 millimeters, 80 millimeters on the pattern, and I think it was 90 millimeters on your Sherman S, and then you've got 130 on the Extreme uh, and King Song S22. So, you know, there is a big range of suspension travel between the wheels, but it's to do with how that suspension's working and what you're feeling and the quality of the pattern and Sherman S and the fast day stuff is just another game. It's really amazing and you should try it, especially next to other wheels. And that's not to say that other wheel suspension doesn't cut the mustard. You know, the V13 is beautiful for what I do when I'm on the road and I'm moving at speed. That rigid suspension is a lot more suited for that style of riding. So yeah, you know, not that one is better, but one might be a bit more versatile for a range of things, I guess. This pattern could be a really good beginner wheel. You know, if you were starting out, it might be because of the size, the compact, you've got a good range, you know, of speed and torque, the suspension, but it feels so nicely balanced and easy to get on and start rolling. I really, really thought this was a really nice wheel. And, you know, for anybody that wanted to start out, this could be a really good thing to look at. And it's going to grow with you over time. You know, the price isn't too bad. It's really the little brother of the Sherman S. If I had the money and money wasn't the problem, I would probably step up to the Sherman S. And the thing that I found is, you know, this is a smaller compact version of the Sherman, but it still feels so close. You know, it doesn't feel like a small wheel, even though it is. It's kind of weird. It's still agile and precise and you can place things where you need. That smaller tire allows the agility. It still feels like a big body and it feels not too far away from the Sherman S. So a little bit smaller version would have been nice, I think, but this pattern is a, a beautiful, beautiful wheel to have in the collection. I don't think I filmed it, but I did have a little look at the trolley handle and it worked well, decent height. I could move the wheel around. I did find it was at the back of the wheel, so it kind of felt a little bit awkward to get used to. You could switch the wheel around. I think I used to do that with the King Song S22. But yeah, it definitely works, definitely good. Felt solid enough to move this wheel in and out of the shops. So yep, yeah, not too bad in that department. I really like the feel that this wheel gives me on the road or off-road, but it really moves, you know, I can really feel, I can get a good road feel and, and, you know, I can feel the, I feel really connected to the road. I can still feel the road. The suspension allows me to still feel what's going on down there and it gives me a sense of knowing what I'm rolling over. So, you know, some suspension might eat up everything and you just don't feel connected and you don't feel like you're sort of in the environment you know it's kind of hard to sum up but you do know the difference when you're on a suspension that's just like a cloud and you're floating along 
but in a trail you still kind of want to feel those burrs and the lumps and the bumps so you know a suspension that allows you to still feel that allows you I think to roll a little bit better for me I I feel more connected and more uh, more ready to react I guess to what's happening below the wheel you know so the suspension's really dialed in nicely for that you gotta watch the pedal height I'm used to that V13 pedal height and you can see in a few of these corners I really get very close to, to scraping I didn't and I'm lucky but I'm still trying to take it's a really playful wheel so you start to flick it and you know lean into those corners which is great fun but you do want to just remember that that uh, pedal might catch and I don't believe that you can adjust the pedal height or angle of these pedals if I was going to use this in the trails I'd want to push those pedals up a little higher you know otherwise you might hit those tree roots clip a rock so yeah and just that angle adjustment I know for my other wheels when I do make that angle adjustment it really helps me it helps me customize the feel it, and sometimes really makes such a nicer roll but the pedals are good good grippy pedals I think really similar to the Sherman S I didn't slide off them once I like how thin and light they are but they're still really strong so good pedal yeah I didn't mind the pedals at all the whole time I rolled over a few bumps jumps pops I hopped it up over a few curbs you know, what I could find I tried to put it to the test took it down some stairs I didn't get any pedal dip it didn't feel like there was a lack of power it talked up really quickly you could just lean in and get this little wheel just buzzing uh, it felt great really good fun for that uh, and I guess that size is also going to be beneficial to get into the car get it to the shops take it to school so as a commuter wheel really good wheel you've got what you know 90 kilometer range you've got a good 70 kilometer top speed suspension to hit the bumps size good display good lights on board you know, auto indicators and auto brake lights which you know work really well so it is a really good wheel for the price this is coming in just a little bit over the 4,000 Australian uh, and that's gonna get you out of trouble it's gonna get you to work you know for many 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 trips so it's gonna cut you down on those petrol costs a, a good wheel to do that with so I'm really sorry I didn't get a chance to keep the commentary going because I had a real buzz on on the day and you know maybe this doesn't feel as exciting now that I'm in the studio just uh, looking through the footage but I did have a real ball I really really liked this wheel uh, this and the Sherman S have left a taste in my mouth for Leaper Kim and they've now releasing that new Lynx model which is just looking phenomenal so for my my money I think these wheels are really really good quality and really designed for riders and they're pushing things uh, you know they're pushing things and the quality they're pushing this industry in the right way I like where they're going and it's not orange so it's a black wheel it's another good reason to like this wheel I think no speakers no lights it's really built for riding more than convenience it's not your you know disco wheel it's a rider's wheel so it's good pads on board and they're customizable the toe clip is built in and you know some people find that gets in the way I really didn't mind it you can remove that but I think you have to remove part of the bumper system as well and if you did remove all of that you know with the flat profile you've got good velcro a good way to get your own pads on there really remembered how stable it felt and just balanced you know, really, really agile in the fact of the small wheel you could put it where you want and you know had a real precise feel about that um, you know I'm on a bigger tank of a wheel normally the V13 with a wider tire massive truck of a thing you can still be precise but these 16 inches you can just you know place them where you want lift them up hop jump and it just comes with you it's a um, it's really nice to have a smaller wheel in your kit but also still felt stable i think this wheel felt a lot more stable than the extreme and i think it might have just been that tire profile it just seems like a slightly nicer tire on this wheel i could still lean it over and flick it around and i could lean it over a lot more than i could with the extreme wheel that was on that when i rolled you're going to get this a bit cheaper than a lot of the wheels coming out now but you're still going to get a really good quality wheel 
if you use my discount code as well, which is BAK50, bak 5 if you go to E-Riders, you'll get $50 off this or any other electric unicycle. So, But this is a small, fun wheel, good quality, uh, good brand support. It's a trusted wheel. There's heaps of people out there talking, hyping this up, loving this wheel, and still the Sherman S, so, and still the Veteran. Uh, you know, they're a great, great company and they're really stepping things up each time they release a new wheel. So get in and get one. It's a really great fun roll. Uh, I would love to have another go. Since rolling on the Sherman S and the Patton, I just feel so good about Leaper Kim. Both of them felt great. And I know that the history they've got, I know the amount of riders here in Brisbane where I live, they're just they're fanboys so there's a lot of people that good riders that respect these wheels and i can see why now it's a really really good wheel get on and have a roll anyway of the pattern or the sherman s or you know the adventure or the extreme or the s19 ride them all i'm going to ride them all as much as i can anyway so the adventure is still coming at this stage i'm waiting for the 50s model and i want it in black because you know black looks black is the new orange i think so i'm just waiting for my 50s adventure to turn up might be a bit of a delay waiting for that configuration e-riders have said theirs is on the way and i might be able to borrow their adventure to have a little play and they've also said i could have a little roll on the links so really really excited i'm stoked and if you want to come on any of those adventures please like subscribe yeah drop a comment it takes a bit of work to do all this and it helps promote the whole game so thanks to e-riders thanks to you for the support um thanks to leaper kim so yeah i had fun anyway i hope you had fun and got something out of this video we'll do it all again soon thanks for watching bye